Hi, this is Dave with TailgatingIdeas.com and today we're going to be testing out another product. Today is uh, known as the Beer Blaster. As you can see, it's a squirt gun that uses a uh, shaken up beer as ammunition. And the claim is, is that you shake up a can, slide it in, slam it down, and spray away. Powered by carbonation, the Beer Blaster turns a can of beer into 12 ounces of ammo, soak a target from 10 feet away. So, what we're going to do is, as you can see, I've drawn a target with some chalk and I've laid out a tape measure and I'll stand at 10 feet and helping me out today is the beer belt and I've got six warm ones and six cold ones and we'll find out if uh, cold or warm uh, makes a difference on the, the distance that this will shoot. So what we'll do is we'll first take a, uh, a cold one, typically that's what we'll do. I'm using Paps Blue Ribbon today because if you're going to be shaking up beer and squirting it everywhere, you probably don't want to be using the good stuff. So I'll shake it pretty good. And this, here's how you load it in, is you load it into the top here, and this area right here will pierce the can and will channel the liquid and the carbonated beer through here. So you lock it in here, slam it down, I have my ten, foot on the 10 foot mark. Looks like it's only spraying about 5 feet, so I'll step forward. And I'll stand at the six foot mark. Why don't we start with a fresh one? Let's see if that'll help. So we'll shake up another one. That just about almost gets it. Maybe we'll try a warm one. <laughs> Looks like the warm one squirts pretty good. So we'll back up to nine feet. Nine feet actually hits it. Ten feet, you could probably hit your friend's feet. So I would say with a warm beer, nine, eight feet away, not too bad. Let's try an original warm one from ten feet away to see how it does when it's fresh ammo. Now it looks like this will last as long as the carbonation lasts, but as you can see, the initial blast is about as far as it'll go, and then as the carbonation wears off, shake up a little bit more and see if that'll help. I'll give you a little bit more. So I guess shorter blasts with more shaking will probably give you the desired results. And in all honesty, it's probably designed not to spray others, but to spray yourself. So you're probably going to be doing it at short range, at arm's length anyway. That's it. That's the beer blaster. Now I have beer in my eyes. You can learn more about the beer blaster on my website at tailgatingideas.com/beerblaster. I guess I didn't know.